hi everyone i'm the canny crafter and i am here with the january edition of my sister's challenge 2022 so if you haven't seen on instagram or monday's youtube video the prompts that have been chosen a book page envelope orange prickly chest eagle and bow tie I keep wanting to say brownie, <laughs> bow tie. <laughs> so I decided to do five prompts for this challenge. So I've chosen book page, envelope, orange, eagle and bow tie. No prickly, no chest. <laughs> Who wants a prickly chest? <laughs> The first thing I thought is, let's make an envelope out of some book pages. That's what I thought. Oops, sorry. <laughs> just, just caught me there. So I'm just going to turn this down. Yeah, that's not going to work with that either. down also I never know if you should put the ruler on the little bit or the big bit okay, so let's get rid of these little bits so first I want to glue these two together I'm just going to use some print stick for this. Didn't work very well. I think the stick isn't very good. Signature. That doesn't matter because I'm going to be sewing around it anyway. And again, let's try it on the little side this time. That's better. I'm going to glue these two together. And this is just to give us some structure. Okay, now you want to construct the envelope so I'm just going to take my bit off of me so I want my envelope like that side I'm going to cut this off here and that will go there and then this will fold over like so to me. Okay, let's do some inking. What colour do we want? I think I'm going to go green, you know. I want to do the inside edge 
on the outside and this one. Oh, and this is Rustic Wilderness. bottom and the right but I want to do some sewing so I will take this to my machine what I'm going to do first is stitch along this here so this will be separate stitch along this then bring this back and then I will stitch around here and all the way around here and I'll be back. Okay, so I thought I would do a zigzag stitch and when I pulled it off the machine, that's happened. So, the inside of our envelope is going to be a little bit shorter now. <laughs> I think I will just try with a straight stitch and see what happens. More success this time. Look, now we have loads of room to put something in our pocket. So as you can see, I stitched across here first, so we could keep it open, and then attached, and sew it all the way around. Mm -hmm. Next on the agenda, let's see. So we've got our book page, and we have our envelope. Orange, and eagle, and bow tie. So for eagle, I went on, let's see, let's get this right. The Biodiversity Heritage Library on Flickr. I didn't even know Flickr still existed. I thought we were all on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. So I checked and this is a copyright free image. Um, it wouldn't let us print it out as a whole image. It just it kept trying to print across two pages. So I just I print screened it in the um, a Photoshop document that you could use Word. And I did it that way. So I thought this could be the focal point of our envelope. Or oh, should it be the thing that goes in our envelope? Oh, I don't know now. Because we could make a journaling card or go in it. Let's concentrate on the outside first. Okay, let's move my fabric scissors. Let's cut this down. So I'm just going to kind of cut this out a bit. I was debating whether to go right in between them or not, but I don't think I will for now. Let's see how our collaging will go. that in there okay so I want that down there so we can still see it all when our little flap is down but I think we may have to do something to keep this flap down so the other thing <laughs> was bow tie and this intricate penguin comes with a little bow tie so I'm wondering though is this going to be too big for our ah, my plan. <laughs> Eagles. I think it might be comically big so I'm just taking some orange card and I'm going to die cut this out so we have two dicky bows and I mean that was the obvious thing wasn't it tell us to use a bow tie and an eagle and my bow ties are going to end up being worn by the eagles 
Let's put this die back before I lose it. And then back in here. Before we lose that. Okay, so this definitely needs something behind it. And this was one of the 12 Days of Christmas gifts. Yeah, I figured there was some orange on these pages. So we have in this page, which is a little bit of orange and a lot of yellow to green. And then, I think it was a polka dot page. Yeah. Again, it has some orange in it. I was going to use the rainbow pad, but that didn't have any orange in it. <laughs> so looking at these with the birds, I'm thinking in this one. Now I think I want to go around these birds in the green. Just a little bit though, just a hint. Don't go mad. Ooh, I went a little bit mad there. <laughs> so I'm debating. I think I am. I think I'm going to tear this down with the tail. So let me draw. Come in here and tear that down. I'm going to try and keep as much of the orange as I can because that's the point. I'm going to stick my little bow ties on the birdies because they're for definite. They are for definite. Oops. I'm just using PBA in my fine tip nozzle. huge okay and then I've, I've been collecting my um you know like the amazon packages that have these little delivery labels on and for some reason i just i want that to go about there like so and i also have these racy Fox, Tracy Fox, yes, Tracy Fox labels, and I wonder if one of these would go on. I like this one because I like the red in it. I wonder if. Mm, but then when that flap's closed, you lose that. Maybe like so. I also quite like that, aren't we? Like that. And then I'm thinking I have a piece of this orange across here. I'm going to emboss this 
and I'm sorry I don't have a name for this. It may have come free with a magazine. It's like tropical leaves. And this orange cardstock is left over from the dog journal. How cool is that? Either or the embossed or the outer bust. I think I actually like it that way. And then I would put that over there like that. This needs something else. I'm done with those tricky box labels. I think two of them is enough. Okay, I've pulled in these as well. I've had these for ages. I got them from Home Bargains. And I just thought... Because I like the shapes of these. do we have oh so if you want to look for these these are from craft sensations and they're just called gift tags and this i have two different types oh there's this like green stripe and these palm trees pull those out for now. I don't think I want any of these like pastel -y shades but then that's funny. that isn't it okay let's have a quick flip through the other book oh we've got birds i don't think i want the birds mm, do i want the script i don't think i want the script stamp Okay, I still feel like we need more. I have, I've saved that bit. That was whipped off. Oh, that's quite nice there. I'm just going to take it off out of the middle and then I'll reconstruct it. I just I feel like it's too long. So I've taken it off out of the middle. I'll put it back there. There. That there. That there. I'm, I'm debating whether to throw that away. It's a good bit. Maybe we could bring that in somewhere down here. I'm going to cut that bit off straight. Really didn't want to throw it away. Okay, I 
I feel like they need something else and I'm thinking something with texture. Oh, I did have these. These are also in the 12 days of Christmas. i take this off and I'll be able to get it back on. But yeah, I like that bag regardless. And there was also Instead of me trying to okay it's the more orange mm. hold on I'll look for some fabric I have got my tiny little scraps thing box Ugh. but I don't know if there's gonna be anything in here that I want to use Actually, I like that way. What else? I'm just going to have to pull it out. I've got so much in here, it's so compacted. I have this. Nope, don't want it again. <laughs> I've got some more black. Oops, 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 stuck to my fingers. No. What about that bit. That was more straight. No, I'm not feeling that either. There was some more of this. Tool. the tool I would like. If I could <laughs> cut it off. And do we want a bit up there? Okay, let's get sticking. Let's start with the bottom first. Okay, I'm just going to use the PVA. Let's stick this down first. I'm going to have that quite close to the thread. Okay. So we know roughly that is going there. But first of all, we want to put this down. And I have back these stickers on the paper because I found the glue was reacting with the ink. And while sometimes that's a cool effect, sometimes I don't want it to be a cool effect. And also they kept sticking to each other, it was a nightmare. Okay, then I think we have that there. I'm just going to try and stick that to that. Like so. 
And we have that up there. If I was clever, I would have done the top down glowing method like Barbara keeps demonstrating from 49 Dragonflies. But I can't do it, I've tried. Okay, and then we have this. Everything's a bit that way now. I'm gonna move that over. I just feel like everything's a bit to the right. We're just going to stick that down there. They use it up. Okay. Do I feel like I need anything else? I still do, you know. But then hold on. I forget. We have this up here. So maybe we don't need anything else. So hold on, we'll stick this bit down first. <laughs> no. We're gonna stick. Then this. And then this. Which was just the bit that ripped. I tore my thing out of the machine. And then I have Tracy Fox labels. Go there. Just the tiniest bit peeping out. And see, you don't have to, just because it says it's a gift tag, we don't have to use it as a gift tag. And then maybe yep, up there. And this is just me trying to bring the top and the bottom together. Okay, let's do you down. And the weight of that is now, um, what do you call that thing? <laughs> Weighing out a flap down. So there it is, the first pumps of fulfilled book page. Envelope made from book page. The colour orange, eagle and bow tie. I'm just wondering if I want some more flower stickers. Out. 
just this little petal. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Day. <laughs> and leaf floral bit. So there we go. Now I'm debating. Do I want to make something? to go in the pocket or should we leave that for later on because we fulfilled the five prompts I will have a panda so I've had a panda and I think I do want to make something to go in here again using book page because that was the prompt so I'm just going to take two book pages and stick them together using fruit stick again and I think this will have to be cut down I'm just going to go and sew it around this on the sewing machine. So I've sewn it around it and I did a combination of straight stitch and zigzag because I think I'm going to have to adjust either the stitch length or the tension when I'm using book page as opposed to when I'm using fabric. And I've just inked around it. So let's just check again that it was fit in there. Yep. So now, excuse me, as they're comfy, we need to collage on the front. I was thinking I pulled out another label. That little off cut of black tool that was hanging around the desk. So I thought that was quite cool. And I pulled in this die cut book. This was from the works. I've had it a while. But I just thought, ooh, another bird. This might actually be too big when we have to cut it down. Ooh. Oh, rip it. <laughs> we'll just we'll fix it. Don't want to like I know. So this is full of lovely images and they're all like I suppose the Fedek version really blame. I just use them. I just use them. Ooh. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut that off there like that. Lose my other little bit of that. We'll glue that on there and no one will know. And a little bit and pull it up a bit. Okay, put that there. That way. 
feel like that should go there. Oops. And I'm way out of frame. That should go up. Mm, I should go that way. I think it should go that way. Mm. That should go down there. And do I want a specimen label? Whatever I want. Something out of the little gift I give you. Let's see. I think there's enough right in there. Let's go with one of the gift tag books. We'll go with those flowers again. Yep, I like that. Okay. And on the inside, I was thinking I could use some of this. Let's see. Can I just... this with my ruler instead of attempting to put a straight line. Haha, -ha, I can. I feel like that's going to go away. And then that can go away. Okay, my little, I'm just going to put a little notch in using my circle pun. Okay, so let's stick these down and then the little pocket can go with there. I want a little pocket over here. I think I do. Okay, I shouldn't be trusted to put straight lines. Anybody ever feel like if you squint, you get a straight line? Okay. Notch in there. But I feel like these need decorating up now. <laughs> okay. That's that bit. Um, a bit more of this tool. Tool? Tool or tool? What a Blake's Gate Mysteries. I've actually pulled in my fabric scissors. Bit more actually. 
put up a notch. Down a bit more. Okay. Another bit of tool, tool, tool. <laughs> Actually, I'm wondering. Eh? Should emboss these using that same leaf frond. Yeah, definitely think that needed that. I'm thinking taking this scrap of book page and just running it through the sewing machine on the uh, zigzag stitch and seeing what happens. I'll be back. So that's just reminiscent of what is on the front flap. But I think it is too wide. And then a the flower. Yep, that's what I want to do. Let's stick these pockets down first. some sort of leafy thingy <laughs> like so and then the same on this side and I was thinking if I went in those pockets we could just put of these Did I not already have one of those out? I did. Okay. Whoops. And then my last thought was I've got to cover the back. I've got to put the back. I forgot to put the back. I was thinking I could use some of this. So this was one of the gifts.
just going to try and cut that. Texture to it. It's like a wood green effect. And I think another one of those little flowers wouldn't be a miss. What do you think it's going to be? Hmm. So I was also thinking, so I've got a couple, say three. Yep, in the middle, like so. do that and I think how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to run this on the sewing machine. So just a straight stitch down the spine, down the centre. Just I feel like do we need more flowers or something? I just feel like these pages need something. I don't know what. I know what I want to do, eh? I'm going to put on one of these specimen labels to go up in the back. Yep. I'm going to cover these up. Uh, the specimen labels. Cheesy Fox has lots. Um, if you go on an Etsy shop, they're amazing. It's too big. Ooh, what about this one? Yep. And I do think I will be purchasing some more because they are so much fun. You can do. I originally got them for um, what they're called. Ah, specimen cards. Speaking of specimen cards. So there you are. we made two bits of ephemera from our five prompts. Do you think I'm going to have to stick some glue down there though? Oh, and that's what I was saying about the glue reacting with the ink on the sticker. And stun it there. I like it there. <laughs> so ta-da! 
my two bits of ephemera from five prompts so i'd love to see what you make with the prompts so if you are making anything with the prompts remember the tag is my sister's challenge 2022 i can't wait to see what you make and i'll see you next time